Nice, bright, and cheerful room. Villain bachelor pad. Who is this? Having a good this sense of who you are is savory one of the most important character. In life. Look at all those happy people on their way to work. To be fair, like I didn't look unreasonably happy to be going to work. They think they're such good, decent citizens. Are we going into this old chestnut? People are happy and that's that's terrible. Look at all these happy people. It makes me sick to my stomach. If only they knew the truth, then they could finally be as miserable as I am. A season for encounters. You know who we haven't seen for a while that kind of makes me uneasy? And it's kind of a nice touch? All for one in Shigaraki. Ward. What is he up to? Media is trying to scare people by stirring up unease. However... The negative depiction of the media continues in this show. It's very interesting. We should be looking ahead of all this. I approve of you. Gross. I don't. What is going on with these voices thing? Is he hearing other people or does he have multiple The biggest change for regular split style? folks is the new number one. Endeavor. Endeavor. He's not the type that everyone loves. I almost feel like Endeavor will have a weird meltdown. Yeah, he's not really a cuddly person. No, he's not. More like he's... an average guy pretending to play the hero. Oof, that was that was especially hard hitting for some reason what he just said. But it's bad enough that the public doubts Endeavor. But even before that is that Endeavor doesn't believe that he deserves it. So he's sort of getting that from all sides while simultaneously having to rise to like the most challenging moment of his entire life, maybe. But you know, oddly, even though I don't anticipate it going this way necessarily, there is an opportunity there for him to actually rise to the challenge, which I think would be would be satisfying. I think one thing that's sometimes hard to keep track of when it comes to looking at people in the public eye is that the people we're looking at are just as human and have all the same flaws and anxieties that we do. To me, there's something deeply unsatisfying about people who are, are spectators, who are not actively involved, being so quick to criticize, especially when what we often see from people who are at high levels of attention is their performance and we don't see the difficulties. We don't see the struggle. We don't see the practice. We don't see the obstacles they had to overcome to get there. We don't see where they started from. For me, in a weird way, this is a humanizing moment for Endeavor because we actually get the benefit of seeing it. We can see that he's not doing well with this yet he is now the target of like all the attention like he's literally trying to fill all my shoes which is impossible and everyone's going to come down on him for every mistake while he's struggling with his own emotions you know and people won't see that and i think this is an important idea not just for the people who are in the public eye but for all the onlookers as well because i think it's way more important to see people for what they actually are and to realize that we're all pretty similar for the most part and to not imbue people with perfect virtues just because they have a Attention, and to not ally oneself with people just because they are high performing in certain ways, you know, to not assume their character. To have this sort of idol camp, you know, it feels in a way like a distraction from what's real. And I think there's a vulnerability that that creates to us sort of like leaning on some higher echelon when the higher echelon as well is just as deeply flawed as we are, if not more flawed. And so it's important to safeguard ourselves from that and to take on the responsibility of becoming the things we want to be rather than just relying on people we see in the spotlight or positions of power or whatever to be that for us, if that makes sense. Yet it's way easier to have sort of like a scapegoat class like Endeavor, for example, and to come down really hard on him for his imperfections when to cast that light on, on the common person would be devastating. He is a superhero. Through circumstances Endeavor hate control, the third one. He's Endeavor scary. That he's totally unsuited for. Endeavor kids. He's got a temper and has gone overboard many times. He's just no replacement. This is a prime example of why those of us in the media should stop reporting negatively about pro heroes and actively raise excitement for them. He says after he reported a bunch of negative stuff. I am here. That's what he said when he saved people's lives. For any regular Joe, that was reassuring. But for people like me, it was nothing short of a curse. It's so interesting that All Might's success, in a way, planted the seeds of hero destruction, you know what I mean? Nobody can live up to it. This is the future now that he's gone. Oh, come on. Give me a break for once. <laughs> he's just done. Crime is tempting for those who don't know what else to do with their quirks. Did he just steal like a DVD display case? Your life of crime ends here! But this part is gonna be slightly different. <laughs> Did that pirate hero just die? That was not the best introduction. You're facing the reservoir dog! What did they steal? The An ice machine? Not as scary to cross on a red light if everyone else is doing it too. Right, right. The scale tips really quickly. The tipping point is, is way narrower than might be obvious. I've been so busy, I'm crying with delight. These past yeah, it's big business right now. A monumental surge in the black market. Everyone's yeah, yeah. looking for suits or support items. Demand couldn't be any better, my friend. It's open season for villains. Shigaraki wants everyone to have a quick meetup. I'm sure he'll be contacting you soon. Damn it. I'm me. I'm in control. 
Yeah, it really seems like you're the one in control with all these voices in your head. But what exactly has Shigaraki been doing, I wonder? I mean, he's not been just waiting, right? He's working on something, clearly. Your face makes me want to puke. Keep looking at me like that and I'll kill you! Pity. You're not what we need. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was... He just took that to... Wow. Stay down. You make good fuel. Well, that was dark. Even for the villains. <laughs> Once of course! How can I be so clone. stupid? It's twice. I can make a clone of myself and then make clones from that clone. An entire gang of just me. I made my clones do everything. <laughs> Seems pretty convenient. Before long, all of us were arguing with each other. Each one of us thinking we were actually the real me. This absurd self-mutilation continued for nine days. Ever since then, I haven't been sure that I'm the real me. Yeah, I was about to say, how do you know? It's one of these clone situations. Like an Invincible. Heroes only care about saving good citizens. But the League accepted me as I am, problems and all. And I feel like that's something that Deku especially could turn around. We're all wackos looking for a place we belong. A bunch of capable adults got together and all they stole was a convenience store register. Oh, it was a register, all right. They should have shot for a loftier goal. Yeah, yeah, I got that feeling as well. What you need is a cure. This is definitely putting my own thing into it a lot, but maybe if there was more honesty of the type I was just talking about, where it's not this paradigm of perfection image all the time for heroes and was more like, these are just people who fulfill a certain role that are human beings like everyone else. If society was a little bit more realistic about the humanity and fallibility of the heroes, there, there wouldn't be such a dichotomy in thought between groups. Maybe people would be less likely to become villains because they wouldn't be so quickly cast aside. And my gut instinct about that, even though I don't know if it'll be substantiated, is that Deku could actually be a, a really positive force in that regard because I feel like because his motivation is not winning or in groups of people necessarily or in categories and is instead more like helping people that opens up a lot of doors in terms of where hero society could go in terms of its culture and who is incorporated who is included and who's worth saving that being said i think even without that kind of change this society eats itself because like a lot of social movements, you're going to have such a wide variety of people and motivations in them. So it's going to start out as it started out with true idealists who perhaps recognize an actual flaw of, of society. But then the opportunists will move in and the opportunists don't really care about the cause. What they care about is following the urges they already want to follow, which are probably going to be selfish and not sustainable if widely applied. And here we see villains already fighting amongst themselves. We see, uh, what's his name? Blue Flame killing other villains. And that's not going to get better, it's going to get worse, because the more power the villains get, the more people will feel emboldened. The more that tipping point gets pushed to include anybody who wants to commit crime, and the more pushback there will then be against it by society at large, and the more power the heroes will get again. What's important is knowing who you truly are, what you want to become, what you want to do. Yes. Right, so I guess twice important. would fall into the idealistic so, section of the villains. What should I do? I'll bet he has more than one opinion. What a breath of fresh air <laughs> to be back in the dorms with the the kids. In other words, if you sustain this type of injury even just two or three more times, I don't think you're going to be able to move your arms anymore. Yeah, but joke's on you because I got legs, so take that. I'll concentrate on my shoot style. You know what I think Deku's room everyone. is missing? Stay in line and move promptly into position. More posters of All Might. You had two people fail the licensing exam, you losers! Onuma from Class B. Did they all pass in Class B? Actually... Every one of us passed. Ooh. We pulled ahead of you, big shots. I'm sorry. Damn. It's my fault. They're the ones who are turning it into a competition. It's no big deal. You don't fall for it. We're clogging up the hallways. I honestly can't believe how uncool you are, Shinso. Long time no see. Looks like he's bulked up a bit since then. Every life Midoriya touches Hi there. has changed it's for the, the better. Adorable small mammal you all know and love, the principal. <laughs> what a self introduction. Even if you eat a balanced diet full of vitamins and minerals, you won't have a mane of luscious locks unless you're getting lots of sleep. It's not always easy though, is it, Nezu? Please tell me he's almost done. My own sleep cycle has been up for the incidents that took place over some of the I know I'm getting old because this is, sure this is everyone here knows about re already. ringing true to me. And there will likely be even more chaos throughout our world in the near future. Leading with honesty. I respect that. He's not sugarcoating it. The air always feels heavy when we talk about gloomy subjects. But rest assured, your teachers are working hard to remove this weight from your shoulders. Yeah, literally, Aizawa doesn't seem to sleep. Speaking of sleep. I don't want any of you to forget that you're the ones who will inherit our society. 
Well spoken. Yeah, Thank yeah. Principal, I think that's super critical too. That's such a good thing as an educator to connect the routine activities the kids are doing to like the real significance. You know, that's so often missing from school, I think. If you're looking for a successor, there's no place overflowing with more raw talent than UA High School. I have no doubt that someone worthy of your power walks the halls of our fine school. I wonder who, uh, what Nezu's list looked like, his, his short list of students. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I understood everything that he just said completely. I'm pumped up. <laughs> For the rest of my life, when I need inspiration, I am going to listen to Hound Dog's speech. Uh, yesterday. <laughs> tell him, tell him, uh, hunting dog hero, ground dog. <laughs> yes, I, I feel the power. Thank you. Where were teachers like that in my life when I was in high school? I need that set to inspirational music. May I ask a question? Sue's just unafraid to go at it. The principal was talking about during the opening ceremonies. I've never heard the term hero work studies before. I know, right? That had me pretty confused too. I also have concerns. Without knowing what it is, I completely support it. It's work outside of class. Like the internships you did at pro hero agencies before. Right. Only closer to the real thing. Huh. I, I like never it. heard about these. Uraka can refine her killing skills. You'll be using your connections from the festival to secure a work study. It's basic networking. Aizawa wasn't lying when he was talking about how important the tournament was. Excuse me, but what is with this dust box ago? Dad, you were yeah. supposed to do that! <laughs> Shut up! Levi would not be happy. I hate this. I'm falling behind. I can't slow down now. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. I don't like it. Nope. Trash, am I right? Nope. Nope. What are you doing? What are you doing? Thanks for coming. <laughs> How do you live in this world, seriously? First year, aren't you? I'm just glad it looks like you've got a fighting spirit. We got a new character entering. People are talking about you, so I came to see what the fuss was about. Can we trust him? No, we can't. Okay. You can't trust anyone who just happened. Yeah. Appears out of walls like that. I've seen him somewhere before. He's the same guy we saw earlier, right? He's the guy in the list on Nezu's list. I'll have people who've experienced them firsthand explain. I suggest you listen carefully as they point out how work studies differ from in Are these senpais? Senpai class? I'm kind of waiting for that. These three there he is, yeah, yeah. He just always looks like that, I guess. They rank at the very top of our student body. The big three. The big three. I like him already. Except for this guy, he's creepy. Yep, he, he really looks like that. <laughs> But there's got to be something to him if he was on the Nezu list, right? As a possible candidate for All Might. That's why we saw that flashback. Am I am I wrong? I've been wondering since way back in the beginning of the UA classes when we were going to get the, the Senpai. And here we are. We got three. The big three. So this is the second last episode of season three. It's sort of an interesting way to bring the series to a close. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen next episode, but season three has been pretty nuts overall. It seems like they're using the, the final couple episodes to set up for season four, which is kind of cool. We had all these special exercises. We had the licensing exam. And now it's sort of back to school, which, which feels kind of nice. And also, I think it means back to villas. There's going to be a new threat. So that is the end of this episode. I will see you guys next time for the the big season 3 finale when I'm guessing we get a we get a major hint about what's coming in season 4.